Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, live from the shop recording studio in beautiful Dayton, Oregon. Once upon a time, it was a cold, wet, windy, miserable day. My favorite kind of day, in fact, because then I can bail on the chores and not do any of the work I need to around the farm and I can come in the studio and play. And I was uh, working on this little riff that I kind of liked. Kinda, yeah, kind of went something like that. And um, I had to, I thought I better record it so I wouldn't forget it. And uh, I was just actually finishing up writing the song. It came pretty quick uh, when Lori came home and listened to it and said, so what are you gonna call it? And I said, well, I had to give it a name to save the file. And uh, so it was Saturday afternoon, so I called it Saturday afternoon. She says, yeah, but you're not going to leave it that. And I thought, well, why not? So I did. And so um, she still loves me, I think. Uh, she's smiling, even though you can't see her. So uh, it comes from the book of Romans where Paul's talking about, uh, you know, I want to do the right thing and I end up doing the wrong thing. I want to do what God says. These are things I don't want to do because he doesn't want us to do that. And that's what I end up doing. And he was an apostle, and he still struggled with that. And I'm, I'm sure we all do too. But uh, thanks be to God, uh, we are not left on our own. The Spirit of God will help Christ complete the work he started in us. And uh, he's not going to finish until he's done with us. So here you go, Saturday afternoon. <laughs>
thanks for listening to that. This next song, similar theme, you know, you want to do what's right and you end up doing what's wrong. You know, and the longer you're a Christian, the more it feels like, maybe at least for me, uh, that I'm just spinning in circles. I'm not really getting closer to God and it just gets a little frustrating. Well, a friend was telling me, maybe think of it this way, you know, the closer you get to God, the brighter the light and the more it exposes what still is being worked on in your heart. And uh, so God's not going to abandon us. He's not going to give up on us. So uh, even though you may feel like you're spinning in circles, uh, every time that you find something new that he wants to change, just give it over to him. Let the Holy Spirit do its work. And sooner or later, you'll be with him. Spinning in circles. Mm -hmm.
All right, give me a second to find where I left my harmonica. Oops, sorry, Mr. Microphone. We may cut that out and we may not. You just never know. All kinds of noise here, right? But it's live from the shop, folks, so that's what you get. We'll see if we cut this out or not. But anyhow, I'm back again, nonetheless. And uh, this uh, next song is uh, started as a poem written by a good friend of mine, Charlie Scholl, back in, uh, let's say, 76, 77, 78, somewhere in there, uh, from the Book of Job. And uh, talking about the watcher of men, you know, just like, where can you go to escape from God kind of thing. And uh, uh, Charlie was uh, reading it to me, and I said, that would make a great song. So he uh, gave it to me, and uh, added a few more words to kind of make another verse or so, and a chorus, and uh, um, here we go. Uh, written by Charlie Scholl and myself, Watcher of Men.
All right, everybody. Thanks again for listening. I appreciate it very much. Hey, if you get a chance, check out the website. You can find these songs and more uh, in uh, studio recordings. And i uh, uh, love to let you listen to those, too. And uh, uh, thanks again for listening. Love you all. God bless. And we'll see you next time.